Carlito, there was a segment on Raw this week where Carlito went to go speak to Adam Pierce about getting Dominic a match with a uh, with Gunther and ended up being a former world champion, which he'll face next week. Obviously, Damian Priest, whatever. And as Damage Control, who were also there in the segment, EO Sky and Kyrie Sane walked off, <clears throat> Carlito, trying to do his dumb comedy character bit, which I guess wasn't a scripted line, had said, I got to go learn Chinese, which obviously they're not Chinese, they're Japanese. You know, it's a stupid joke, racist. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know that. It, 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 I don't know. Racist is a harsh term, but is it a racist joke? I guess. Um, I mean, I guess by definition it would be. And a lot of people are upset about it. To a degree, I understand. At the same token, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think should he be like fired? No. Should he be told not to ad lib or like this is why they have scripts and stuff because you can't say shit like that. You can't be saying stuff like that, especially at like this day and age. I'm not. I mean, we could debate all day like whether people can make jokes or not, but like this day and age, people get bothered by stuff so easily, and especially on like a massive platform like Monday Night Raw, you probably with sponsors and stuff like that, probably not the best thing to say. So it was a dumb thing to say. But I don't think we have to call for the guy's head like he should be fired. So I know you saw the clip because you saw it earlier when I brought it up to you. Um, y- your thoughts on that, just as far as like people's... I mean, I guess you didn't really see the reaction, but uh, I don't know. I-, I really don't think it's really that big of a deal, to be honest with you. No, I mean, I didn't think it was really that big of a deal. I mean, if he said Japanese, would everyone have been okay with it? I guess like, that's the intent. Like, do people think it's racist because he said I should I, I should learn Chinese and he... Even though yeah, no, it was wrong. Japanese. Yeah, no, it was dumb. Yeah, like that's. I guess that's my question. Like, if he said Japanese, would everyone like, oh, that's funny? Because like, clearly, like, I would I think know, so. A, maybe he's making a like, maybe he thinks they're attractive. So he said, oh, and that. And, oh, oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like whatever, regardless. <clears throat> but like, so if he said Japanese, would have been fine, or like, did just saying Japanese, like, since it's Chinese, then it's racist. Like, I mean, that's the thing. It's like maybe it's like ignorant. I don't know if I'd say racist. Cause clearly. Yeah, he meant to, exactly. I think he meant to say Japanese. He just said Chinese. Okay, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but, I mean, everything nowadays is kind of just, everything's put into, like, everything's overlooked at. Everyone's offended by everything. So, I mean, I think I get his intent, but he said maybe just if you're going to make the line, especially in 2024, like, make sure you get the right, uh, the right country and right, like, origin. But, yeah. I mean... I don't think it's that big of a deal, but like I said, people freak out about everything. Yeah, no, I don't think it's, and I'm not saying that people were saying this, but I think it's, uh, when you, especially EO Sky, actually, she was involved in something like this, not with a fellow performer, but if you recall, like maybe four or five years ago in NXT, she was getting ready for a match, and a fan, and she was a heel, so people are gonna, you can yell rude stuff, but like not like disrespectful shit. So this, you know, you know where I'm going with this. The fan was like, oh, go back to China. Which obviously she's not from China, and even then, even if she was, even if he said go back to Japan, that's still fucking racist or whatever. But you know, we said China, and she goes, "I'm Japanese, bitch," which is really funny. Um, it wasn't really a case like that where, like, I don't think it was said as a disrespectful thing. Again, I don't know if he got it wrong on purpose or if he got it wrong on accidentally. I'm not exactly sure what the intent behind that was. I think the bigger takeaway and why it was even a bigger deal. I forgot, maybe it was the Rolling Stone. I forgot the outlet. There was an article like a week ago, like literally days before this happened on Raw, where a bunch of ex-WWE writers spoke to someone from, again, like I said, Rolling Stone or an outlet like that, talking about how, like the terrible backstage culture of WWE and how they were told to incorporate sexist remarks and they were treated disrespectfully, specifically the women. Um, the racist shit, you know, we all, we know all about the racist shit that WWE was doing, um, you know, throughout the Attitude Era in the 2000s and the, the shit that they would put in their fucking scripts and whatever. So I guess that comes out and then he says that on Monday and people automatically think, well, the culture hasn't changed. They're still fucking racist. They're still making stupid jokes. That's the thing. I, I believe, and I know it was just the source that claimed it wasn't there in, that wasn't their line. It, it just makes the company look bad because it makes it look like they wrote that for him, whereas he just ad-libbed it like an idiot, and he shouldn't have said that. Um, but I don't think they wrote that for him is the point. <clears throat> is, is, yeah, is the point I think, like you said, I think it was like an ad-lib of him saying it. Like I said, yeah. I think it was supposed to be a joke, and he said the wrong thing. I do want to circle back. Favorite ring announcer? Can't believe we forgot her. Brandy. <laughs> Dude, I've gone back and watched old clips from like 2015, 2016 WWE. She sucked. I'm sorry. She oh, okay. was, uh, <laughs> she was not good at all. 
<clears throat> I'm sorry, but she's your favorite, though, right? She's among your favorites. I'm sorry. She, I, I literally saw her name, and I fucking died laughing. I was like, oh, I totally forgot about Brandy. I forgot about Brandy Rhodes, yeah. Wow. That feels like an eternity ago. That feels like a different lifetime ago. Yeah, no, she wasn't good. She left. Actually, she was someone you talk about going to where your your husband works or whatever. She actually quit right after Cody did. I don't know how well she was being treated. I don't know if she really talked about that, but but at the same time, it's not like she left to go to oh fucking AEW with Cody Rhodes. Like that was years later. It wasn't the same thing. But she did leave. She left AEW actually out of the same thing. She left AEW at the same time that Cody Rhodes did. They, I mean, she didn't go back to WWE. Um, and maybe she will at some point. I don't know. But yeah, that that I, I totally forgot about Brandy Rhodes. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really think the Carlito thing was that big of a deal. I think it'll die down. I think they should, he might have to, he might apologize. I think an apology would be worth it. Um, especially again, if, if he may, if he said Japanese, no that, need, no need. Everyone needs to fucking stop being babies. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose sleep over it personally. If he didn't, I'm just saying it might be the smart move. If people are still talking about it, <clears throat> you know, in the coming days, then maybe, but otherwise, I don't really think it's, I don't know. I think it's one of those things that people get upset over. Learn for the future. Don't say shit like that. Or at least go, you know, I understand what he was trying to do. He's just trying to be a goof. Um, didn't land well. And they got in hot water over it. So to at least avoid more bad publicity for the company, maybe maybe just don't do that. <laughs> I guess it's, there you I guess go. It's, don't do it again. Just don't do it again. Learn your lesson and don't do it again. If it happens again, then we can have a conversation. But just a little slap on the wrist, I don't think it's that big of a deal. 